I'd like to put in a plug for a, a kind of odd film. It was a driver's train film made in 1950. Okay. So why would I even mention a driver's training film made in 1950? The truth is that this is a kind of short horror film. And it's, it's actually has quite a bit of emotional power and it's uh, less than 20 minutes. Okay. It was uh, directed by the prolific but not famous Louis D. Collins. And it actually, okay, it opens with a brief scene of young people dancing, um, a silhouette of a boy and girl kissing. And then we're in the home of teenage Jean, played by Joan Taylor. Her back is turned to the camera. <clears throat> Okay, and we don't see her face. We see her long and silky, slightly waved hair. Okay, and she's pinning a letter to a friend in which she basically tells her story. And then we switch over to a high school football game. Jean is there together with her friend Kathy. They're in the bleachers. Her Ken Kathy, played by Sally Hughes. They're in the bleachers watching the guys play football. And then we see the two young ladies among a small group of high schoolers milling around the grass outside a school building. And um, Jean wonders which of the two boys uh, she's going to go home with since she's been dating the two most popular guys in the school. I wish I had that problem, Kathy says wistfully, but kind of lightly. Right on time, the two boys, Nick played by Richard York, who made his, who became famous by playing Darren on Bewitched. <clears throat> he was the first Darren on Bewitched. And Larry, played by Robert B. Stern, who has no other credits, no other film credits than the than the last date show up. Okay. Now, um, one of the things about this is that the, um, the, as is usual, very usual in this type of film, um, the teenagers are actually played by people who are not teenagers. They're young adults. Okay. But anyway, they play as teenagers. And in this case, we have a good boy and a bad boy. And the odd thing about that is, because it's a driver's training film, good boy and bad boy are distinguished by their driving styles. Okay. Uh, Nick is the fast, reckless driver. And the other guy, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, who is it? Uh, Larry is the slow, cautious, are you acting like an old lady driver? Okay. And then um, we know that um, they were told that uh, Nick is the candidate for tenocide. That was a word that was used in those days by disc jockeys to describe teenagers who kill themselves and perhaps others before the 20th birthday through speeding and reckless driving. Now, tenocide isn't a term that's heard today, and it didn't never really caught on too much, but I think it would make a great game, a great name for a rock band. Can you see that as a rock band name? Tenocide. Okay. Anyway, the um, film is actually worth watching. It's less than 20 minutes long. And it's worth watching because in a w its own way, it is a horror film. And it kind of shows what can be done with restraint and suggestion. So I do um, think you should look this up on YouTube. Okay. Um, now, um, if you like what you just saw, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.